Wedding photographs are lasting memories of one of the most important days in a bride's life. Let's be honest, ladies. Most of us have never hired a person to follow us around for an entire day, taking photos of our every move. The reason most stars and entertainers look so well in their photos is because they have a coach or a publicist and trainers who practice with them. That's why we made this video. For the next few minutes, we'll be your trainer. We may not be able to get you to celebrity status, but we'll do our best. So sit back and relax while we take you through some of our favorite tips for awesome wedding day photos. Step one, angles. Find your best angle. Everyone has a side of their face that's more photogenic, so find your best angle and stick to it. When posing for photos, always turn your face slightly to the side and angle your chin downward to avoid double chins. Make sure your hairstylist knows which side you're going for because of hair accessories. Step two, your hands. Hands add an extra touch of elegance to your photos. Consider posing with your hands gently resting on your hips, in your pockets, or holding your bouquet. And don't be afraid to ask your photographer to pose you if something feels awkward or if something doesn't feel quite right. As for their professional opinion, your photographer should be focusing on the ring and having your wedding hand in the shot. For example, put your bouquet down by your side and put your ring hand on the groom's shoulder or against his chest. Contact with the groom adds more emotion to the photos. Step three, the dress. Show off that dress. I mean, you spent enough money on it. Your wedding dress is an important part of your day, so be sure to showcase it in your photos. Pose in a way that shows off the details in your dress, whether it's just the train, the lace, or the back. Step four, get comfortable. Weddings can be stressful, but try to relax and be comfortable in front of the camera. Take deep breaths, smile, and just think happy thoughts. Your body language will reflect in the photo, so it's important to feel relaxed and at ease. When selecting a photographer, make sure you find someone that can make you feel relaxed and make you laugh. If you're getting some value out of this video so far, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel so that you can be notified of any new videos that we post. We here at JD Entertainment are passionate about weddings and the wedding industry, so we'll be posting new and helpful content to help you with your special day. Watch until the end so I can tell you about a special and helpful gift. Step five, the veil. Play with your veil. If you're wearing a veil, use it as an accessory. Play with it, let it blow in the wind. Use it to frame your face. Step six, props. Props can add an extra touch of creativity to your photos. Consider using items such as a vintage car or bike or a sign or a beautiful piece of architecture as the backdrop of your photos. You can find some great examples on Pinterest. Share some of these ideas with your photographer before the wedding so that they know your vision. Step seven, show emotions. Don't be afraid to show your emotions. Of course, weddings are emotional events and that's okay. So don't be afraid to show your emotions in your photos. Whether you're laughing, crying, or simply smiling, these moments will be captured forever. Which leads me to step eight, the smile. Many people struggle to smile naturally and end up with stiff and forced looking grins on their photos. This is a big one, so here are some tips to help you smile for photos in a way that looks natural and captures your personality. Number one, practice. The more you practice, the easier it'll become to smile naturally for photos. Put your tongue behind your top teeth and try smiling in front of a mirror. And even have a friend take some test shots just so you can get used to the process. Number two, relax. Tension in your face and body can cause your smile to look stiff and forced. Make sure to relax your face and body before smiling for photos. Take deep breaths, shake out any tension in your arms and legs, and let your natural smile come through. Don't be afraid to breathe in and out and start over if you're feeling tense. Number three, think of something happy before you smile for photos. Think of something that makes you happy, such as a cherished memory, a joke, a funny moment. These are gonna bring genuine smile to your face and help you to avoid a forced looking grin. If any of this video has helped you in some way and you'd like to know more about our photography, click in our Calendly link in the description below. We'd love to hear about your wedding. Back to our remaining smile tips. Number four, don't be afraid to show your teeth. A full open mouth smile is often more natural and attractive than a closed lip smile. However, it's important to remember that the best smile is the one that feels most natural and comfortable to you. Number five, avoid fake smiles. Fake smiles are easy to spot and they don't look good in photos. Instead of trying to force a smile, focus on feeling happy and relaxed and let your natural smile come through. 
Six, no smile is good for some photos too. Close your eyes and have your photographer do a short countdown and then open your eyes with a slightly seductive look. It might feel weird, but it'll be a great balance against all the smiling images. In conclusion, posing for wedding photos can be nerve wracking, but with a little bit of preparation, it can also be fun and a memorable experience. Follow these tips to ensure that your photos are beautiful and timeless, capturing the essence of your special day. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. We've created a special wedding day survival kit checklist. You can click on the link in the description below to download our free checklist. What's your favorite tip from this video? Tell us in the comments below. We'll be selecting one winner from the comments to get a free 11 by 14 print of their favorite wedding photo. Thanks for watching.